We really need to start thinking of animals as teachers because not only are they teaching us new things every day, they're always doing stuff that blows our minds, stuff we didn't know they could do, stuff we never thought they should do. But that's not how nature works, right? Animals have their own ways of living their best life, whether it's elephants strolling through your city or a cat that takes the bus. It could be a hippo spa treatment or a ghost bear. That's why animals rule. Expect the unexpected. 15 times animals surprised people. Sometimes you just get a feeling and you know there's something to this creature that's very unusual. <laughs> Number 15. Crab Trap Sometimes you have to be creative if you want to catch your meal, like using a crab trap to catch eels. It's do-it-yourself at its finest. And it turns out this trap was equally as successful at catching eels. A typical trap consists of a frame with chicken wire stretched around it. The mesh wraps around the frame and then tapers into the inside of the trap. When a crab, or in this case an eel, swims inside this opening, it can't get out. So we're guessing that catching eels is pretty easy. The trap works well. Traditionally, these traps were widespread and have been invented independently from culture to culture around the world, depending on the new innovations or raw materials used to DIY. Let's not forget that food supplies in different bodies of water can change. And that's why people take matters into their own hands and make whatever trap they have work as best it can. But there are essentially two types of trap, a permanent or semi-permanent structure placed in a river or tidal area that are usually baited to attract prey. However, results may vary. But half the fun is building your own trap. It's easy, so go ahead. Use a crab trap to catch eels. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14. Sleeping Elephants Found in Forest China's famous herd of wandering elephants is on the move. The herd of wild Asian elephants was tracked to a forest just outside a township in Yunnan, around 70 miles southwest of Kunming City. The animals had been eating millions of dollars worth of crops, damaging buildings and poking their trunks through doors and windows during their march. Wildlife authorities are struggling to understand why this group of 16 elephants went on the move last year. It could be the space available for remaining native elephant communities has shrunk over the years, with the tropical forest being replaced with banana, tea, or rubber plantations, or used to plant lucrative raw materials for traditional medicine. Hundreds of emergency personnel, vehicles, and drones were deployed with more than two tons of elephant food in continuing efforts to lead the elephants away from the human areas and to evacuate people in their path. The travels of the elephants, first detected leaving their natural habitat last year, has captured social media, although their at times destructive presence has caused at least $1.07 million in damage. But the Yunnan Forest Fire Brigade has a team of eight people tracking down the elephants, 24 hours a day, both on the ground and by drone from the air. Number 13. The Life of Kabi, America's Oldest Chimp Kabi, America's oldest male chimpanzee at the San Francisco Zoo, died at the ripe old age of 63. He was beloved as a peacekeeper among primates, building bonds with humans who visited and the staff who worked there. Nicknamed Papa as the respected elder primate, Kabi was remembered as a charismatic and compassionate mentor for the zoo's new chimps and was credited with the smooth introduction of other males to the group. Before his placement at the zoo with three females in the mid-1960s, he was a performing chimpanzee who was human-reared. The chimp even had a short-lived career in 1960s children's TV trying out human activities in a series of shorts called Kabi's Hobbies. As a result, he formed similarly strong relationships with the zoo caregivers. His regard for humans extended to zoo visitors, who were delighted to watch him in an exhibit that includes climbing structures designed to allow humans and chimps to see one another up close. Kabi beat the odds by living to age 63 before he passed away. Due to hunting, habitat loss, and disease, they're considered among the most at-risk primates in Africa. Number 12. My Octopus Teacher Humans don't have a lot in common with octopuses, but that does not make them completely unlovable. Our evolutionary paths diverged nearly twice as long ago as humans did with any other vertebrate too, which is just crazy to fathom. Besides being absolutely ancient, could octopus be the closest living thing we have to alien life on Earth? Many scientists would agree. 
My Octopus Teacher follows documentary filmmaker Craig Foster as he dives in the ocean near his home on the southern shores of South Africa. While free diving, he meets an octopus and returns to her every day, documenting most of her life cycle, which spans about a year. For weeks, she evaded him, hiding in her den, camouflaging herself or moving into the nearest crack to escape. And then, after 26 days of near-obsessive wooing, she reached out and touched him. We even see the octopus hitching a ride on a shark's back, growing a new tentacle after a shark attack, and finally her passing after laying a clutch of eggs. My Octopus Teacher shows us the meaningful engagements with the natural world and that they can happen anywhere if you look closer and go a little deeper. Number 11. Wally the Walrus Meet Wally. This Arctic walrus has been spotted off the coast of Cornwall, England, the first recorded visit to the region by the mammal in history. The walrus was spotted by a group on a sea safari. The Pembrokeshire Resort on Tenby, where Wally is currently basking, is about a thousand miles away from where Wally would normally swim in the Arctic. But Wally's surprise appearance has brought out all sorts of excitement in the area. People from all over the country are traveling to catch a glimpse of this magnificent marine mammal and the social media frenzy is heating up worldwide. It appears that the walrus has the run of the scenic resort town seashore. Why is Wally even there at all? Locals say there are lots of tall stories circulating as to how Wally came to be in Tenby. The most popular rumor is that he fell asleep on an iceberg in Greenland and floated over. It's believed that there are around 20,000 of the mammals in the North Atlantic. Massive crowds gather daily to catch a glimpse where Wally likes to relax for hours at a time. Walruses can live to around 40 years old and can weigh up to one ton, and they can be aggressive and moody. Wally, however, looks right at home. Number 10. David Attenborough and the Gorillas This encounter with Rwanda's mountain gorillas has been seen by over 500 million viewers worldwide, and his memoirs, Sir David Attenborough described it as one of the most exciting encounters of my life. The Grooming Gorillas clip was first broadcast in the United Kingdom in 1979 and is regularly voted one of television's most memorable moments. But the footage was almost not meant to be. Sir David had wanted to use the gorillas as a backdrop while he talked about the evolutionary advantage of the opposable thumb. But he came face to face with the adult female and won the gorillas' trust by standing his ground and whispering an ad lib to the camera. When Sir David returned the next day, the female and two young gorillas began to groom and play with him. Would you believe that the footage was almost never broadcast? The scene was nearly left on the cutting room floor because producers thought it was too trivial. However, it's the most famous sequence ever captured on a natural history film. When his encounter with the gorillas was broadcast, the creatures were numbering around 250 in the world and predicted to be extinct by the end of the century. But there are now more than 1,000. Although they're still endangered, it's an extraordinary conservation success story. Number 9. Spirit Bear in the Wild This white version of the North Atlantic Black Bear, and it's found almost exclusively in the Great Bear Rainforest, where it's 25,000 square miles down Canada's western coast, it's known to the Kitasu people as the Spirit Bear. They revere every living thing, but the Spirit Bear is especially sacred, one of the rarest bears on Earth. Neither albino nor polar bear, the spirit bear is officially known as the Kermode bear. It was named in 1905 for Francis Kermode, who helped zoologists find the white bears and later became the director of the Royal British Columbia Mutation and a gene involved in the production of melanin. The trait is recessive, which means both parents must carry the mutated gene for their offspring to be white. And in the Great Bear Rainforest, some 500 to 1200 black bears might be carriers but no one really knows how many Kermodes there are in the Great Bear Rainforest. There are as few as 100, but as many as 500 according to some estimates. In 2012, a Kermode bear was housed at the British Columbia Wildfire Park, believed to be the first in captivity. The yearling cub was found abandoned in northwestern British Columbia. Number 8. Great Coon the Penguin Penguins are fascinating and extremely likable. Some would say even lovable. But did you know that penguins mate for life? They even cuddle each other. This love story stars Grape Coon the penguin. The Japanese penguin lived at the Tobo Zoo in Japan, but he was a little different from the other penguins. He was in love, just not with another penguin. He turned his affection towards a promotional cardboard cutout of a popular anime character. Grape the Humboldt penguin became an online star after falling in love with the picture of Hululu, a penguin character from the Japanese anime series Kimono Friends. 
Real penguins were no longer of any interest to Grape Coon. He only had eyes for Hululu. After the cardboard cutout was placed in his enclosure, Grape spent long hours staring at it and refusing to leave her side, and so staff decided to leave the cutout in the penguin's enclosure, long after the promotion ended. The romance captivated the hearts of Tabo Zoo staff and people all over the world. Humboldt penguins find a lifelong mate, like other penguins. These penguins bow their heads and use altering eyes to exchange glances with penguins during courtship. But in 2017, Grape Coon's love for Hululu will be no more. In 2017, Grape Coon passed away, but the love story lives on. Number 7. Secret Hippo Oasis Unable to pick up a stick and scratch their own backs, hippos have made friends with a fish called the barbell. Barbells nibble away all the ticks and parasites on the hippo's skin. Their fishy spa service even includes dental hygiene. When it comes to skin care, hippos need a little extra attention to get maximum results. And the spy hippo camera not only gets some seriously rare up-close footage of hippos in the water, it reveals the underwater hippopotamus spa where fish nibble at the parasites that are lurking on the hippo's body. From above, you can only see the animatronic spy hippo's blinking eyes and ears, but the animal cam isn't just a hippo head. The video reveals a body with little swimming feet too. Needless to say, spy hippo did come under attack at first and was battered and knocked around. Certainly, the real hippos thought that this was a rival hippo, but once they realized it wasn't a threat, the hippo spy was free to record the spy treatment fishes from the front row. Filming hippos up close and personal is never a good idea as they're notoriously aggressive with many unprovoked attacks on record. No camera person would risk swimming with these hippos. Number 6. Leopard Shark Hug Unfortunately, films like Jaws have painted sharks in a fictitious light. However, this video has been extremely popular online. And if you like to swim with them, leopard sharks are generally found along the Pacific coast of North America. Just ask yourself, should you hug a shark? Captured on camera at an aquarium in France, a friendly technician found the leopard shark's sweet spot while doing some maintenance checks in the shark tank. As they clean the glass, a number of fish swim around when the shark moves in. A leopard shark. It swims around in a circle and heads directly towards the technician's chest. Anticipating the marine mammal getting too close, the person opens their arms and greets it with a good old-fashioned hug. In fact, it's a well-used tip in these situations. A bell rub can calm a nervous shark. They love it. Just don't try it if you ever come in contact with a shark. This technician is trained to handle it. The shark, who appears to be smiling, then moves under the technician's arm to get into a better position to be given the friendly belly rub. Eventually, the satisfied shark swims away and the friendly staff member gets on with his work duties. Number 5. Russia's Amazing Metro Dogs A number of stray dogs are riding Moscow's Underground Railway and, get this, they seem to know where they're going. These dogs have figured out which trains to board and where to get off. Moscow strays have also been observed obeying traffic lights. In fact, the dogs have developed a variety of techniques for hunting food and surviving in the city, unfazed by the hustle and bustle going on around them, even managing to sleep in extremely high traffic areas. They even recognize their favorite passengers. Often people will give the dogs treats and some much needed affection. They can often be found sleeping in the crowded carriages too, totally at home as people come and go. Among humans, the dogs are simultaneously loved and hated, but people have gotten used to seeing these transit-using pups. Many people bring doggy treats on the metro. The subway strays have come to be considered by many as an unusual yet vital component of Moscow's unique appeal, and it does break up the monotony of metro travel. If you ever find yourself in Russia and you're taking a subway ride, you might need to move over. One of these amazing metro dogs might be your riding companion. Number 4 new species of subway mosquito. There is another smaller animal living in the London underground, besides mice, perhaps even more at home. This new species of mosquito actually evolved in the unique conditions of the subway environment. The subway mosquito is a genetically distinct subspecies. It was first reported during World War II when London's subway tunnels were used as overnight bomb shelters. After the war, other than the odd complaint of biting made by maintenance workers, we didn't hear anything about these subway mosquitoes. That was until almost 50 years later when a London-based doctoral student decided to study these subterranean biters. While the above-ground Culex pipian mosquito bit only birds, this new version had a taste for human blood. While the surface mosquitoes form big swarms, the underground mosquitoes are not as abundant. 
So it's just individuals floating around looking to feed. With the singular species breeding underground for some 100 years, the stage was set for a new subspecies to evolve. Scientists think that it might have taken just a few hundred generations to do so. In fact, this mosquito has been found in subways around the world. Number 3. Casper the Cat Casper attracted worldwide media when it was reported that he was regularly riding the bus in Devon, England. He appeared on television, was the subject of a newspaper editorial, and had a book written about him. His story goes as follows. Casper was adopted from an animal rescue center in 2002 by a healthcare worker who called him Casper. She soon realized that he was a very independent and determined cat, and he frequently wandered off. She also discovered that he was not afraid of people or traffic, and it was not long before she started hearing reports that he was visiting nearby office blocks, doctor's offices, and pharmacies. And when she went to work each day, she had no idea what Casper did while she was away. It took seven years before she discovered that Casper was riding on buses. The drivers told her that he would politely line up along with other passengers at the bus stop opposite her house, and when a bus came that he liked, he would get on and jump on his favorite seat. Casper would remain on the bus for its 11-mile round trip to the city center and back to the bus stop opposite his house, where the drivers would let him out. Unfortunately, Casper died after being hit by a taxi. Well, the irony. Number 2. Octopus Punches Fish In a new study, researchers described a collaborative arrangement, yet not altogether friendly, between octopuses and different species of fish. They discovered that the fish and cephalopods hunt for food in pairs. And these alliances between octopuses and coral reef fish can involve multiple participants of various species. For example, octopuses pursue prey that dart around rocks and tight spaces in the reef, while bottom-feeding fish, such as the yellow-saddle goldfish, follow behind the octopus and other fish species patrol the water column. Octopuses, however, gain control by striking at their fish partners, using an arm to get them to move to a preferred position. This swift jabbing motion with one arm is called punching, but those collaborations don't always work out so well for the fish. The octopus is one of the world's most savvy creatures and demonstrates many signs of intelligence. We're guessing the octopus is the mastermind behind this strange relationship. But the fish are much less friends than they are unpaid employees, whether they like it or not. Though octopus were previously known to throw defensive punches when attacked while fighting over food, this is the first time their punching has been scientifically described and linked to collaborative hunting. Number 1. Archerfish Incredible Accuracy Archerfish are incredible creatures with unbelievable aim. They lurk around the surface of the water in rivers and seas, waiting for an insect to land on the plants above. Then suddenly, and with laser-like accuracy, they squirt out a stream of water that strikes down the insect. The insect falls, and by the time it hits the water, the archerfish is already waiting in place ready to swallow it up. The archerfish have a trick. Light bends when it enters water. A less astute fish might not correct for this bending light, but not the archerfish. This little aquatic physicist is able to seamlessly correct for the bending light. The archerfish understands this and still nails it. Any stream of water has irregularities in thickness and surface tension, the tendency of water molecules to attract each other. The archerfish uses the way water bunches and forms into droplets in tandem to make a powerful jet of spit. The creature ensures that the water at the back of the spit stream is moving faster than the front. They merge to make a large accelerating blob that strikes the insect with amplified force. Because they have more developed eyes than most fish, the binocular vision allows them to focus forward and judge longer distances to aid their hunting technique. This allows archerfish to have precise aim when taking down prey.